The move to appoint more honorary consuls rather than have embassies with ambassadors or high commissioners is part of government's initiative to reduce the cost to Grenada. It is very expensive to have embassies located outside of Grenada. You have to rent space, provide accommodation for the ambassador, pay the staff with the, in, in U.S. currency, and therefore, in order to reduce costs, we are seeking to appoint more honorary councils. It was first announced during the budget debate by Foreign Affairs Minister Oliver Joseph that there are changes to the diplomatic representations outside of Grenada. One of the adjustments is the ambassador in the United States, who is also the non-resident ambassador to Mexico, to now represent Grenada as the non-resident High Commissioner to Canada. The, there is an arrangement with the OECS, where the OECS have one High Commission in Canada that represents the OECS countries. But for the remainder of the OECS, they have taken a decision to appoint non-resident high commissioners to Canada. So traditionally, we have appointed our ambassador in Washington, that is our ambassador to the United States and the OAS, as our non-resident high commissioner. Because Canada is a member of the Commonwealth, we use the term high commissioner. And when the country is not a member of Commonwealth, we use the term ambassador. The Foreign Affairs Minister notes that this is the government's policy direction of establishing more honorary councils via a mixture of citizens who are Grenadians by naturalization, birth and the CBI. We have recently requested an appointment for someone to be Grenada's ambassador to the WTO, but we await the response so that we can make a full announcement when the person is fully accredited. And there are other international organizations that we have appointed, made an appointment to others in the International Maritime Organization and other UN agencies where it is no cost to the government of Grenada. Grenada will be represented and internal investments promoted for the country by these potential honorary councils. I am Gerard Joseph for GBN News.